Today, more proof that prescription drug abuse is escalating after two big drug busts, one involving a Northeast Ohio dentist. News Channel 5's Paul Crispa has new information just coming in after two indictments were announced just over an hour ago. Here's Paul. That's right, Leon. U.S. attorneys indicted three men for selling high-powered painkillers to anyone looking to buy. One of them, a local dentist who worked out of three area dental offices. Dentist Michael Weijing Kwong and his assistant Jacob Kelly and another man, Jason Thompson, were indicted for allegedly selling Oxycontin and Percocet on the streets of Cleveland. They're all accused of selling those painkillers for cash to patients who showed up at the dental offices after hours as well. The three men were arrested yesterday. Now, Dr. Kwong and Kelly worked for Hudeck Dental on Memphis Avenue in Brooklyn. They also worked at American Dental Centers in Elyria and Akron. Now, the owner of Hudeck Dental told News Channel 5 just a half an hour ago he had no knowledge that any of this was going on, that one of his dentists was doing this. Uh, he says they only worked there for about a month and that he is stunned, angry, and upset. U.S. Attorney Stephen Dettelbach talks about these indictments. Dr. Kwong wrote prescriptions in exchange for cash to buyers who would visit his office after hours. Kwong, Kelly, and Thompson were responsible for the distribution of over 6,000 tablets of oxycodone and over 2,500 tablets of hydrocodone. Kelly and Thompson took steps to avoid detection at local pharmacies by filling these prescriptions across Cuyahoga, Summit and the Lorraine County areas. No areas. Uh... Also today, more than a dozen other people were indicted for selling painkillers, Xanax, and Vicodin to people from Northeast Ohio over the internet. That drug cartel busted by federal agents who made undercover buys and did search warrants in the Northeast Ohio area. That's an entirely separate case. Now, both cases show and highlight just how prevalent and how so many people are addicted to painkillers and will break the law to get those pills any way they can. In the newsroom, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. Many thanks, Paul. It is a developing story, and we will stay on it. Thank you, Paul.